guys, my name is MC420 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Spider-Man episode review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing episode three, episode four of Pokemon Spider-Man, which is a party animal. And in this episode, um, Rhino appears, and we also get another person. We also get another person of Jackal and Mom Osborne, and um, we see a bunch of other things. So start things off. The show begins with um. With a little battle between um, a little battle between Spider-Man and Spider Slayer, and um, after he builds, after he like, after Spider-Man defeats the Spider Slayer, it's revealed that Alistair Snipe is controlling the Spider Slayer and is at Osborne Academy, and Osborne, Osborne, um, um, Osborne, um, Osborne takes him into his Osborne Academy, and after that. We see Harry be back at Horizon High, but um, um, they're thinking of a way how to actually um celebrate him being back. So, so when they're deciding on what they should do to um to celebrate Harry being back, Peter makes a dumb mistake and says, "Let's have a dance," and that basically initiates all the things that's gonna happen in the episode. And um, a few hours pass, and then we see um Harry, and we see um um the Jackal, which is Gwen's uncle. And Norman Osborn talking if he can like join Osborn Academy, and then when he actually has code with Ryder, he's actually um, used something to to a Horizon student and um, to um, turn him into something. And then after that, Harry and Harry Osborn, Harry and his father have a um, discussion about him being back to Horizon High. But then Harry kind, of, but then um, Osborn kind of convinces Harry to actually stay at Osborn. So this takes place when, but then it goes to place where um the dance is, and then when Peter's actually finished on talking about Harry, that is when the Rhino kind of appears because that's like the student is the student that turns to the Rhino, and then everything's happening, everything's going crazy, and then Spider-Man comes, then Peter turns to Spider-Man, he goes and stops the Rhino, but then he knocks him out, but then um they find out that actually their student um I think it's Julian I think, um they find out that it's him. So they try to make up Ando. So Peter, Harry, and Gwen go back and go into a lab and see if they can find a way to actually make an antidote. But once they actually leave, um, the Rhino, like, um, no, when they do it, they can't find an antidote. But Gwen reveals that um, her her uncle was the cause of it. So she goes back to um, to her house to find her uncle. But then once as she leaves and Peter goes to find her, the Rhino wakes up again. And everything goes to heck. Everything like goes crazy again. And then this leads all the way to to where um, Gwen is with um, her uncle and her. And then after that, um, it's revealed that it's the jackal. And um, um, it's revealed it's the jackal. And then Gwen reveals sees it. So Spider-Man and Jack will have like a big freaking battle inside the house. And then Gwen finds a way how to actually turn him back, so she makes an antidote. She goes back out there, and she injects the antidote into her uncle. And then after that, um, the cops come, or like, um, Peter calls the cops, and then, um, um, Gwen makes an antidote for, um, for the rhino. So Peter takes it, and Gwen stays back at her house. Peter goes back, and, uh, fights the rhino again, because it's common habit again. And then, um, once right there... Um, he injects the rhino, he injects the, um, serum into rhino. Everything is good, but then at the end, um, um, everything, go, everything, um, at the end of it, um, Gwen's uncle gets cap, gets, um, gets arrested, and then, um, she get it gets arrested, and then, um, after that, Gwen's kind of, kind of sad that her uncle's kind of gone now, but, um, Peter's there to cheer her up, and then, like, she says that she's a good friend. And kind of romance, I guess. And then after that, um, it goes to Harry and Peter, I think. Anyways, it goes back to Harry and Peter at the at the little cafe, um, to talk about it and how like um he'll not leave. Well, how, like Peter tries to convince him to not go back to to actually come back to Horizon, but he says no. But then after that, um, um, they decide, Peter decides to like like get up, let it go. And then they decided to, like go their separate ways, and then um, they start saying like um like um at the end of it, Peter actually says that um 
he'll stick what he's good at, and that's science, but he'll stick some to something that he'll be better at through time, and that's being Spider-Man. And that's the end of the episode. Um, what can I say? It's pretty, it's pretty okay. Um, I won't say it's the best episode, but it's pretty okay. Um, like I said, it's not the best episode, it's an okay episode. I'd probably give it about, like, a 7.5, 8 out of 10, I guess. Not 9, but, like, a 7.5 and 8 out of 10. Um, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. That's my review of Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man episode 4. I'll get episode 5 later on. Um, I give probably, like, a 7.5, 8, 8.0. That's my score. Tell me what your score in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, or, like, want to stay in touch with me, um, please subscribe. It'll be really helpful. See you guys later. Bye-bye.